Assalamu alaikum In this lecture we will send an activation email for our registered user Let's check our database where we have so many records We don't need all of these records we will clear this database For this let's open up terminal and type php artisan migrate refresh It will delete all the previous tables and will create the new one now we don't have any user and we don't have any activation even we don't have any roles now let's insert some roles the first name of role I'm giving is admin and the second name of the role is teacher Now we have two roles, admin and teacher. Now let's check our user registration page. This is the user registration page. And this is the route for registering the user. Let's open this route. We have two methods. First method is register which is showing the view and the second is register user which is actually registering and activating the user. We will remove this and activate and we will leave this register here. So we will just only register our user here. We need some other things to use so, so we will use activation and we will use app user model. Have you ever questioned where we get the sentinel and activation? When we use sentinel and when we use activation, where these files are? Do you know the place where they exist? I show you the place. Let's go to the Let's open the config folder where we have app.php. Open this app.php file and here we have aliases. And in aliases we have activation which is referring to this class which is in these folders and the reminder and the sentinel class. So we use these aliases in our classes. Now let's code for activating the user. Activate is equals to activation and the method name is create and we will pass this user. Then it will create an activation code for the user and after generating the activation code we will send an email to the user so that he can click the link to activate the account. So I am giving the method name send activation email and I am passing two parameters the user, the user object and activation code. So let's create this method public function send activation email and let's create two input parameters the first object is user and the second is code so we will send an email email send and we will use this and we will use email And the syntax of email is that first we have to return some string or the view. So I will provide the view file which we will create in the folder email and the file name will be activation. And for data we will pass two variables. 
our user object and the activation code. And the third parameter is a callback function which we will create a function message and we will use our user object. We will create this function message using our user object because we need to pass email and username. So message to the user email and the subject of the email will be hello and username. So we have registered our user, we have created our activation code and then we are sending the email to the user with the activation code. But we haven't created this view file. So this is the view file and this is the data and this is the callback function. So now let's create our view file in email activation. So first go to the resources folder and let's create a folder email in views. And let's create a new file with the name of activation.blade.php. And let's create an email template. Hello and the username close the heading and open a paragraph and a message please click the activation button to activate your account And in the link we will give URL let's name it activate and after activate we will provide user email And after email we will give the activation code. Save this template. Now we have completed our send activation email method and this is the view file. Before executing the code we have to configure our email. So let's go to the env file, open the env file and let's set up this SMTP for our gmail. The port is 587 and use your email address and password and the encryption is TLS. Let's make some changes here in register user. Let's cut these lines and paste it here. First we will register the user and then we will assign the role and then we will send the email. So now let's check this. 
before checking the registration form let's confirm that we have enable this feature in our account let's secure app access if we don't have this access then the, we will not be able to send email so now let's create a user click the register button and we are redirected to home url so let's open the database and in our user we have the user and in user roles we have a role and in activation we have this the user activation is not completed it will be completed only if the user hit the activation link so now let's check our email hell uh, my mistake this must be hello so let's first correct this hello save this and let's click this link and we have hello and please click the activation button to activate your account and this is the activate account link so before clicking the activate link account first we have to create the route let's create a route in visitors middleware group and we will create this activate in security folder and the name of the controller is I'm giving activation controller and the method name is activate so let's create this activation controller open the terminal php artisan make controller and it created the controller let's open this controller in security folder activation controller and let's create the method name public function activate we will use sentinel and activation and user model So first of all we will get the email first we will find the user by email so sentinel find by email and we will pass email to here but we didn't assign so let's make some changes in our route add email and code and in our method we will get this email and code from input parameter and then we will find this user by email and if activation is complete and we will pass this user and this code so if the activation is complete then return to the login page in else you can redirect it to home url so now let's click this activate account and we have error this is an undefined method find by email okay there is no such method so we have to replace this by find by id and we have to pass user id for you passing the user id we will first get the user id using user model where email is this email and we will get the first row and we will get the first record and then using this object we will get the id 
So now let's save this. Close this and hit the activate account link and now we are redirect to login page. The activation process is completed. So if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye bye.